Joining me for another episode of the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast, my special, special, special guest today is a talented singer, uh, entrepreneur, um, who goes by the name of Miss Robbie. Miss Robbie, how you doing today? I'm great. You I'm great. Welcome to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. Thank you for having me. It's an honor. You're no problem. Thank you for joining. Now you have a uh, some new music out. Yes. Um, and it's called uh, Ain't My Stuff Good Enough. That's right. That's All right. right. Represent. Um, represent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to talk about that in a minute because uh, you have a very interesting uh, story. Um, now, I know most people might recognize you from the Oprah series. Um, welcome to Sweetie Pies. Uh, but I didn't know... Um, so I started researching that you used to be, you were an original Iket with Ike and yes. Tina Turner. Yes, that, that was sort of the beginning of all this stuff. Uh, that's okay. good enough. <laughs> okay. I just thought you were an entrepreneur, uh, restauranter. Um, well, and okay. I'm more than that. Some of it you can't tell everybody. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave that alone. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, so we're going to talk about, uh, let's, well, let's first talk about you. Um, you've been doing music for a long time. And um, tell us about this new uh, project. I got a chance to see the video a couple of days ago. And I really, I really love that. I really love the song. Um, Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, but tell us about the, uh, this new single that you have. Well, this song actually was written for the ICATs and the Murets, which was the same group uh, 40 or 50 years ago. But back then it was, uh, it, they banned it. It was, you know, they wasn't saying the things they do now. But today is not dirty enough. Back then it was too dirty. <laughs> oh no, we can't play that on the radio. So now when I listen to it, I'm like, I need to dirty it up. It ain't dirty oh. enough. But, and so I always love this song. And doing one of my episodes in Welcome to Sweetie Pies, my storyline was that uh, music was my first love and chicken is my second. So I decided to go back and get the song. I never forgot the song because a well, young lady, Shirley Matthews, that sang background, we were doing the black background circuit in California for 30, 40 years. She wrote this song for us. And so I never forgot that song. So in the storyline on Welcome to Sweetie Pies, I went back and got that song. And so, and then after the show was over, I'm like, well, I can, you know, I've done a lot of things. I've sang behind everybody. Nobody's given me an award or, or, or just nothing. So I'm going to go for me a Grammy. I'm going to be the oldest person at the Grammys to receive a Grammy. <laughs> and I thought about this song and I went back and re-recorded it. And when I first did it, everybody was like, that sound old. Well, hell, I am old. So I got to give you only what I am. So uh, I went and got some young men to help me with it that had been working with Nelly and things like that, because I'm from St. Louis. And they rearranged the song and put it together with the two of us, my little input with the old and the new. And we came up with this idea. And I liked it. And I'm like, well, I'm gonna put this song out because I'm gonna win a Grammy and I'm putting it out. Okay. So that's how it came about. Yes. All right. When I first saw the title, I thought, um, is she talking about food? Um, but now that's that I know it. there's a different meaning originally right. behind the song. Okay, Miss Robbie, I see you. I see you. Um <laughs> <laughs> so well, good luck with the song. I think it's really good. Uh Thank now. You were born in Columbus, Mississippi? Yes. Okay. I, I know I, that I area pretty well. Pardon My me. dad lived in Ethelsville, um, which is, I guess, five minutes from Columbus, Mississippi. Okay. I don't know it, but I heard of it. I actually know more about Starksville, Mississippi, mm. because my dad was from Starksville. My mom was from Columbus. We were born there, but we know more 
about Starksville, which is about 30 miles or something like that. Okay. From Columbus. Yeah. So I know more about that. Okay. Um, back to Ain't My Stuff Good Enough. Um, it's been out for what about a couple of months now? Or yeah, yeah. Couple months. How has and it been I've received been by the uh, by the public? Well, you know what? I've got over five hundred thousand views, and that's everybody says that's great. So I don't know what's good and bad because this <laughs> music business has changed. But I want it to be. It's not on the radio and things like that yet. So I don't know what the next step is to getting at that. So I guess I'll get more views, but I'm really excited because people tell me that's good. As an old schooler, I don't know what's good and what's bad because I'm used to selling them records, being number one on the billboards or something like that. Right. You know, That's good to me, but I don't know this new uh, form of music, what's good, but everybody says it's doing well. Yeah, 500,000 views is, yeah. is really good. Yeah. Is it out? for uh, purchase or it's just a video? Yeah, it's on, uh, you know, it's, uh, on YouTube and all those other things, Pandora, uh, streaming and all that other stuff. So it's out to purchase. I just can't tell you okay. where to go because of, of that, you know, but I okay. should know it. I got to get better with this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Is there uh, any more music to come from you? Um, yeah. Are you working, working on some new second. stuff now? I'm yeah, I'm working on my second one. One lady asked me, did I have an album? I'm like, I didn't know they still had albums. <laughs> they tell me they don't have albums no more. But she says, is there an album coming? I'm like, she must be old as I am. I'm talking an album. <laughs> but okay. yes, I'm working on my next one as we speak. Okay. And um, Sweetie Pies, um, are you guys still open? Or? Yes, we're still open and we're struggling through this pandemic. Like we're everybody. Yeah, we're just praying that we can hold on. My aunt used to say, when you get to the end of your rope, tie a knot in it. You get it. So I'm at that knot. I'm just hanging on to the knot now. So I'm hoping we survive it. And with okay. the blessing of God, we'll, we'll be okay. okay. And if not, that's a sign for me to go on back somewhere to the music or go back home. It, yeah. it doesn't, whatever floats my boat is good. Okay. Yeah, I noticed on your uh, on your profile that you sung backup for uh, you know a lot of great artists, Stevie Wonder, Barbara Streisand, um, others, uh, the Rolling Stones, Everybody. Joe Crocker. Um, what was the what was those? The, well, let me ask you a question. Getting back to uh, the iCats, um, you know, I seen the movie. Uh, What's love got to do with it? Yeah. Um, it seemed like it was. You know, you know, highs and lows. Uh, was it depicted the correct way? Was it? Um, you know, uh, during the time I was there, I was there quite a while. I mean, some of it was, and some of it wasn't. I mean, it was a, a relationship between a husband and a wife. It really didn't affect us as uh, you know being employees, but that was between the two of them. We knew it happened. We didn't see it actually. We saw the effects of something the next day, but we never actually saw the impact and stuff like that. But yeah, I, it was highs and lows, true and false. Okay. I, uh, I think I read a uh, uh, article that you said that there was a lot of fun times back then too. It was. And my first time leaving home on my own, it was 20 of us. We depended on each other. It was like a freedom going across the country, during the time everything was segregated. That was probably the worst of it, but we were all together, 20 of us in a bus, going up and down the road, different city every night, meeting different people every day. That was fun. Yeah, it's fun, fun and exciting, and making, yeah. making money, not much, but making a <laughs> little. <laughs> okay. I enjoyed it. All right, fantastic. It, yeah. All right. Well, Miss Sweetie, uh, thank you for, uh, I'm sorry, Miss Sweetie. Miss Robbie. That's okay. They call me Miss Sweetie. Miss Sweetie, Miss Robbie. Thank Ms. you for Robbie. joining me today. Just I appreciate it. Just, Just call don't call you. me too late. Don't call me too late. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I appreciate you. you taking the time today. Thank you, Ty. And All I got right. a concert in St. Louis, October the 1st. If you're in the neighborhood, come on by. October, I'm sorry, what date is it? October the 1st at the Sheldon. Sheldon October 1st at the Sheldon. We'll put it on our website and uh, make sure people are aware of it, particularly if you're in the St. Louis area. That's where we are. Thank you. All right. 
All right, Miss Rob. Same to you. Thank you for joining. All right, take care. All right, bye now. Calling all lovers of soul music. The time to make soul music relevant again is now. You've been listening to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast with Todd Woodson. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to tell a friend. Make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing to our newsletter at bringbacksoulmusic.com. That's our show for today. I'd like to thank my special guest, Miss Robbie. Go out and check out Miss Robbie's new video, Ain't My Stuff Good Enough, on YouTube. Don't forget, you can listen to the Bring Back Soul Music podcast on iTunes, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and Pandora. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Bring Back Soul Music TV. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at comments at bringbacksoulmusic.com. I'm Todd Woodson. Thank you for joining us. See you next week.